This is a solution to the fourth of five projects written up by Shelley Tan of Northwestern University's Night Lab. And this one's an adventure game. It's a text-based adventure game. And the way I've done it is I've uh, imagined an Easter Bunny walking into a house. He's in the entrance and he can go north, east, south, or west, no matter what room he's in. And sometimes he'll be able to go in those directions if there's a door there, and sometimes he won't. And he'll try to go in a direction by entering N, E, S, or W. Um, and what he's looking for is an Easter basket in which he's going to put eggs. So when he finds the room with the Easter basket in it, he'll automatically put the eggs in the basket, and then he has to leave and find the entrance again. And when he does find the entrance after having already delivered the eggs, he wins. He gets out of the, out of the house and presumably moves on to the next house. Okay, so let me show you first how it works. Here we are, welcome bunny. Can you find Johnny's basket? You have entered the entrance way. Which direction do you wanna go? So we'll go north and it says you have entered the kitchen. Which direction do you wanna go? And before I find the basket, I wanna show you what happens if I enter uh, X, something that's not N, E, S, or W. It says, please enter N, E, S, or W. So it knows that, that uh, that's an invalid entry. Which direction do you wanna go? I'm still in the kitchen. Um, so I'll go east, and I've entered the dining room. I'll go north, and it says you cannot go in that direction. So when you're in the dining room, there's no door in the northward direction. All right, let's try going south. You've entered the living room. Okay, let's go west. And it says you are back in the entranceway. So it knows that we've been in the entranceway, and now that we're back in the entranceway. The first time, it says you have entered the entranceway. Now it says we're back in, you are back in the entranceway. All right, let's go north again, back into the kitchen. And this time we'll go west. And it says you've entered the hallway and there's the basket and Johnny is sleeping right next to it. You have delivered the eggs. Now get out quick. Okay, so we'll go back the way we came. That would be east and then back to the kitchen and south. And it says you've delivered the eggs and returned to the entrance. You can now leave, congrats. All right, so that's how the program works. Let's take a look at the code. As with all of them, we have our main function, or call it to the main function down at the bottom. That's what gets things started. So we'll go look at main. As you can see, this is more involved than the other ones we've seen so far. Um, the very first thing we do in the main function is set a durs variable to a tuple. And a tuple is immutable. It has, um, our tuple has four different items in it. And those items are all set to zero now. This is the directions, north, east, south, and west. The next thing we do is we create our six rooms. Every room is a dictionary. Uh, and a dictionary is a collection of names and properties or keys and values. And these dictionaries each have three properties, name, directions, and message. So for, ent for the first one, for example, entrance, the name is entrance way. The directions are set to DERS, which are 0000. zero, zero, zero and the message is an empty string. And all the others are the same, except that they have different names. So once we've set them all, then we go and set the directions for each of them. And the easiest way to understand this is to look at an example. Entrance directions gets kitchen living room zero zero. What that means is that if they go north, they move into the kitchen. If they go east, they move into the living room. And if they go south or west, they can't go in that direction because there's no door. That's what the zero means. The reason we had to wait to define directions is because when we defined entrance, there was no kitchen. So we couldn't say for the entrance that when they went north, they went into the kitchen because it wouldn't know what kitchen was and we'd get an error. So having waited, we have all the rooms defined and so we can reference them. Okay, so underneath that, the next thing is we create a list of rooms. And these are actually not all of our rooms, entrance ways missing. And the reason we have this list is because we want to be able to choose a random room where to hide the eggs. And that's what we do on the next line. Room with eggs gets random.choice rooms. So at the top of this, we've imported random. We've seen that before. And random has a method called choice in which it looks through an iterable, like a list, and it grabs, or it looks through a sequence actually, and it grabs a random value. And so in this case, it's going to grab living room, hallway, kitchen, dining room, or family room. Every time we go and play the game, the eggs will be hidden in some random room. The next line, we set eggs delivered defaults. 
And the reason we do that is because we have to we have to know whether the Easter Bunny has the eggs yet. And if he has the eggs, then when he find when he gets back to the entranceway, he'll have one. And we start off with a room. Room room is entrance. We'll change the value of room as we go through the game, uh, depending on which room the bunny is in. Then we print welcome bunny. Can you find Johnny's basket? And we have to escape that apostrophe, otherwise it would close our string. And we escape it with a backslash. Okay, and we get another loop. And this loop is a game loop, and it's the rest of the program is within this loop. Once we break out of this loop, we're done. So the first check in the loop is whether eggs is delivered is true. So if eggs is delivered and the room name is entranceway, that means we're done. And we print, you've delivered the eggs and returned to the entrance. You can now leave. Congrats. And then we break. We're done. Else if not eggs delivered. So if the eggs haven't been delivered and room name equals equals room with eggs name. So this is the random room, room with eggs that has the eggs in it. And if the room that we're in is the same as the room with the eggs in it and the eggs have not yet been delivered, then we set eggs delivered to true and we print, there's the basket and Johnny is sleeping right next to it. You have delivered the eggs. Now get out quick. And then we set room message. Remember room message was an empty string for all of these before, but in this case, we're going to change the message for the room in which we found the eggs to you are back in the room name, whatever that is. You have already delivered the eggs. Get out of here before Johnny wakes up. Else we're in some other room a room that doesn't have the eggs in it. And we print whatever the message is for that room. So let's go look at the message function. Here it is. If room message equals equals an empty string, there is no custom message. So that should say actually there is no custom message. We return, you have entered the room name, whatever the room is. Else we return room message. So else is in the event that there is a custom message. So most of the time, the first time we enter a room, It'll say you have entered the dining room or the kitchen or whatever the room is. Okay, and then after printing that out, we set a custom message. Room message gets you are back in the dining room or the kitchen or whatever the room is. So the next time they come to this room, if they come again or the Easter Bunny comes again, we are going to say you are back in this room instead of you have entered the whatever the room is. Okay, now we have a nested while loop. Actually, before the nested while loop, we set a variable stuck and stuck gets true. And we say while stuck means while they're in that room and can't get out, that means that they're either hitting invalid characters or entering invalid characters, or they're entering a direction in which there is no door. So dir gets input, which direction do you want to go? North, east, south, or west? And then choice gets get choice, and we pass the get choice function room and dir, whatever direction they put in. So let's go look at the get choice function. Here it is. If dir equals equals north, choice is zero. Else if dir equals equals east, choice gets one. Else if dir equals equals south, choice gets two. Else if dir equals equals west, choice gets three. Else will return negative one. So if they did enter a valid entry, then we do another check. We say if room directions choice equals equals zero. That means if if the uh, that element of the tuple is zero, there's no door there, we'll return four. So back in our call, We'll look for that, and if, if the value is 4, then we're going to say you can't go in that direction. Else, we'll return their choice. So if they can't go in that direction, we'll return the direction they chose. So back here, we say if choice equals equals negative 1. So actually, we don't need to assign this to dir. I'm going to get rid of that. We can just say print, please enter north, east, south, or west. Else, if choice equals equals 4, print you cannot go in that direction, right? Choice is four, meaning that we assigned four to choice if the element in the tuple was zero, if uh, the north or east or south or west position was zero. Else, that means they can go in that direction, room gets the new room, which is whatever uh, element in the tuple is in that direction, room directions choice. So for example, if they were in the kitchen and they entered north, then the choice would be zero. So we go into the kitchen and we look for the zeroth element in the directions tuple. And the value of that is zero, which means they can't go in that direction. So we come back to our get choice. And we say, if room directions choice equals equals zero, we'd return four. So we return four. And it comes back here and we get to that else if choice equals equals four, print, you cannot go in that direction. 
If on the other hand, they had tried to go east when they were in the kitchen, we'd go back up to the get choice. We look at east. East is choice equals choice gets one. And then we say if room directions one equals equals zero, we return four else. We return the choice. Let's look in the kitchen. One is the second element in our tuple. And when they're in the kitchen, that would be the dining room. So we would return the dining room to this call. So room gets room directions choice, which is, or room directions one, which is the dining room. Now we're in the dining room. Stuck is then set to false. That gets us out of this nested while loop and brings us back up to here while true. And we check if eggs delivered and room name equals equals entrance way. And we start again. That's how the program works. I hope that makes sense. Enjoy writing one on your own. And thanks for watching.